Does it make you old to say that you knew uh, when uh, only Boba Fett had that armor on and you didn't even know what a Mandalorian was? I guess it makes you old. So I could have separated this into a couple different videos, but it just seemed easier to do it this way. Today we're going to paint all the Mandalorians from the core set of Star Wars Shatterpoint by Atomic Mass Games. Let's go. So everybody is getting a spray of white. Then we're going to take some sea gray, and this is going to go all over their undersuits. So uh, basically anywhere where there isn't armor. But if you go over the armor, it doesn't matter because we're going to be fixing that all later. This is just an easy way to get them all done. And we're going to move over to some Parasite Brown, and this is going to go on some of their belts. Now, not all of them. I followed the box art kind of as closely as possible, at least for patterns. Then we're going to take some gun metal, and this is going on all the metal parts of the Imperial Super Commandos. Any of those armor pieces that we want, gun metal's going on all those. And the jetpacks. Then we're going to move on to some heavy metal. Now this is going to go on all the armor parts of Bo-Katan's Mandalorians. So everywhere we've got armor. Same thing that we just did with that gun metal on the Imperial Super Commandos. I guess they're called Mandalorian Super Commandos. They're not Imperial Super Commandos yet. My mistake. But I better say it now. And don't forget the jetpacks. Now we're going to take some Occultus Cloak and some Speed Paint Medium, and this is going to go all over the Mandalorian Super Commandos. So we want their suits uh, to be a little darker, but this can go over the entire miniature. So we're going to take some Dead White, and this is going to go on Bo-Katan's helmet. Um, we can fix her visor after, we just want to get it on the spots that we need it to be white. Check your reference photos, check your box art, get an idea of what you want before you do it, and kind of formulate a plan in your head. So I figured I could do all my colors together, like all the sea gray and everything, and then I can do different washes on top of things. This is just going to make your life a little bit easier if you kind of plan ahead. Now we're going to take some runic gray and some speed paint medium, and this is going all over Bo-Katan's Mandalorians. So this can go over the entire miniature the same way we just did those occultist cloak. Then we're going to take some neutral gray. Now we're going to use this just to highlight the um, suit of the Mandalorian Super Commando. So we're just going to go in and add some highlights. And we're going to do Gar Saxon here so I can show you all the same techniques, but they will translate over the other two Mandalorian Super Commandos as well. Then we're going to go back to our gunmetal and just highlight up all those armor parts that we just did on the Mandalorian Super Commandos. So we're just going through and bringing back some of that shine. Then we're going to take some Bal Crimson here and we're going to go through and put in all the red spots on the armor. And we're going to take some volcanic yellow. Now we're going to go in and just do this part first because we are going to put red on this face mask. So this is just going into his visor. And we'll move back to that ball red and just put in all these other uh, details. So these, I think they're flames or maybe it's a handprint that's on his helmet and also uh, the red around his visor. Then 
Then we're gonna take some amaranth red here and this is gonna go as a highlight up on all that bell red we just did. And we're gonna take a little bit of moon yellow and we're just gonna run this down the very center of his visor. Then we're hopping to some sea gray. We're going back to our Bo-Katan uh, Mandalorians here and we're gonna highlight up their bodysuits with this color. Then we're gonna take some chain mail silver and we're gonna bring back up all the silver that we had done before. Now we're gonna switch over to some magic blue and we're gonna do all the parts of the armor that should be blue. And this is just gonna be one even coat over all those blue parts. Then we're going to switch over to Ducat Blue and this is going to be an edge highlight on all of the blue that we just did. Now I don't often do a lot of edge highlighting but for these miniatures it seemed to work out really well so it's a good thing to practice. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, really love edge highlighting. It's not my favorite thing but it works on these. Then we're gonna grab some volcanic yellow again here, and we are just gonna do these little spots on Bo-Katan's armor. Then I'm gonna grab some white alchemy, and I'm just gonna put this over uh, as a highlight over that white that we did on her helmet. And we kinda wanna try to avoid the pattern here because we've already got that runic gray in it, and it's already shaded and painted for us. Next, we're going to grab some Caribbean Ocean, and we're just going to put that on Gar Saxon's shield here. If you chose that option. If not, then forget uh, everything I'm saying. Next, we're taking some Maze Yellow, Nuclear Sunrise, Templar White, and some Express Medium. These colors are what we're going to use to do the uh, exhaust from their jetpacks. So, follow along with me. We'll start with the Maze Yellow closest to the jetpack uh, jet and then we will start wet blending in some of that nuclear sunrise now you might have to go back and forth between colors to get a good blend but just basically work through it mix them together on the actual miniature then we're going to take that uh templar white with a little bit of the medium and we're going to do the same thing we're going to wet blend it into the nuclear sunrise now if you have any tide lines like you waited a little too long like i did just put on a little bit more nuclear sunrise and blend it in a little bit more work your way through and then eventually all the way down at the bottom it's just going to be the Templar white. This particular technique, wet blending, it takes some practice, but with the speed paints or the contrast paints or the express paints, this is a really easy way to get something like this done. Then we're gonna take some dead white. We're gonna do a dry brush on Gar Saxon's shield here. And with that, we'll paint the bases and these guys are done. And I am really happy with how they turned out. 
I like that the Mandalorian Super Commandos have a little bit more of a rougher look to them. Um, they painted their armor themselves or however it worked out more wise but I do really like how they turned out. And Bo-Katan's uh, Mandalorians here are a little bit more crisp, a little bit lighter. Um, they worked out really well too. I'm, I, I, honestly, I'm very impressed uh, with the sculpts, um, everything. They're, they're really cool miniatures and a very simple paint job like we did can really bring a lot out of them. Do the Mandalorian people get royalties for like the uh, cloners stealing the design of their uh, helmets? Because like the Phase One helmets is like it's the design of it. They just kind of took that, lifted that right up. Feels like some copyright infringement. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. Do the do the who? Next, we're going to take some Maze Yellow, Nuclear Sunrise, Templar White, and Speed... Ah, oh, God. We will start with the Maze Yellow closest to the uh, Jetpock... Jetpock. Jetpock.